Hey guys, Andrewman96 here, and today I'm going to teach you how to take off in flight gear from an aircraft carrier. So first things first, you're going to want to pick out your plane. I'm going to be using the F-14 today because it's easy to fly and I know it can take off from an aircraft carrier. So when you're selecting your airport, you can completely negate this because it has nothing to do with the aircraft carrier operations. To select an aircraft carrier, there are two aircraft carriers that I know of, and they're the Nimitz and the Eisenhower. We'll be using the Nimitz because it's easier to spell, I guess. So go down here to Carrier Ops, and then in Carrier, type in Nimitz. Then select Next. This part is crucial. Go, down to, go over to Scenarios and make sure that the Nimitz demo is selected. And then select Run. And you're all set to start your aircraft carrier operation. All right, so here I am on this nice little aircraft carrier about to take off. Um, I have this nice little runway all to myself. And obviously, the first thing you do on an aircraft carrier is hook up the catapult. So to do that, you hold Shift L, and it might yeah it worked immediately, but sometimes it doesn't work immediately. So you have to move forward just a little bit and then try it again, and maybe it will align that time. But as you can see, the uh, the launching oh crap the launching platforms right here have come up so that the plane can propel off them, and the plane is now hooked up to the catapult so that it will be launched when I press launch. The second thing you want to make sure you do is release the parking brake because it would be a disaster if you tried to catapult with the parking brake on. So to do that, the parking brake is actually right down here, except there's no push button for me to push it, so I have to use Control B to release the parking brake. Over here, you can see the parking brake is now released. If I turn it back on, the brakes are now on. If I turn it off again, they're off. So now I'm almost ready to take off. The next thing that I want to do is I want to turn up my throttle. So I use page up to do that. And the plane lurches forward a little bit uh, because it's being held back by the catapult and can't go anywhere. If you go to the outside view, you will actually see that the engines are on. Actually, it's difficult to see, but the engines are on. So I'll go back into my cockpit view. and. Once you're at full throttle, to, to release the catapult, you press Shift-C. So I'm going to do that in a second. I'm going to make sure that my uh, my gear, or my whatever this thing's called, my steering wheel is aligned so that I can do this. And I'm going to press Shift-C. The plane will lurch forward, and once it gets to the end, it'll take off. You are now flying the F-14. So I'll go into my outside view, and I'm not very good at flying with outside view, but release my gears because don't want them to fall off and I'm flying so it's relatively simple to take off landing is a pain though because it's such a small uh, it's a, such a small aircraft carrier that you have to make sure that you align it perfectly otherwise you're going off the other side um, so I can do a tutorial maybe on landing later but first I have to figure out how I land myself so there is one issue with this plane that I know of and it's that sometimes you'll be flying this plane and one of the wings will fall off I have no idea why it happens but it just does so yeah I mean deal with it <laughs> um, so that's how you take off from an aircraft carrier in a uh, F-14 and it's relatively the same for any other plane so if you want to try it out just, uh, just follow the guide I mean it's relatively simple um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial or video that I make. See you later. So I just had this uh, this interesting idea to try out. What if this would work? I think that'd be pretty awesome. I'm going to first try and uh, see if I can hook this thing up to the catapults, which I don't think will work because, uh, well, it's a Boeing 777. So let me try. No, it doesn't look like it's working. Um, so yeah, the only way I'm going to be able to take this thing off from here, I don't think I'll be able to, but I'll try. So, here we go. Two trying new things. First things first, I'm going to start up the engine.
Alright, so the engine's all started up, and I am now ready to attempt this amazing feat. So, yeah, time to attempt. Um, first thing I'm going to do is turn up all my throttles. I'm going to put my parking brake on so that I don't start moving forward really slowly. Um, and my plane might yell at me when I do this because, well, it doesn't like being taken off from an aircraft carrier. So, my engine should now be fully operational and the yelling should start any second. I'm turning up the flaps so that I can take off. And, well, the second I release this parking brake, the plane should go forward pretty fast. So, well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Here we go. I'm now moving forward. And that wheel is probably going to fall off. That is, oh, crap. Oh, well, it can, it can still take off. It can still take off. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can... It couldn't do it. And now it's going to get hit by... The aircraft carrier. Look at them graphics. So, yeah, don't try this at home. That I guess that's probably not the best idea. Um, well, this was fun. Maybe I'll try again in a second. Uh, see you later. So I just kind of figured uh, maybe if I could manage to pull my plane all the way back to the end runway, I could get this thing to take off. So I'm going to try this. Uh, I have about double the space I had before, I suppose. Um, maybe close, yeah, about double. So maybe it will work this time. We will see. I'm going to turn my engines all the way up like I did before. and. Once they're up there, I'll release the parking brake, and <laughs> we'll see if I can manage to take this thing off. As you can see, the engines are increasing their uh, power, and they seem to have stopped. Let's see if it... All right. Oh, see, the plane's yelling at me this time. He's like, "No, Andrew, don't try it. It's a bad idea." Let me uh, increase my flaps as well. Why can't I see my flaps? my flaps my flaps are back there okay I'm gonna increase my flaps as well just so I can uh, increase my chances of successfully doing this but for some reason I highly doubt that this will work um, but if it does I mean I am officially the best pilot ever so uh, yeah pa uh, flaps are almost there and just a few more seconds there we go. Flaps are there. So, uh, let's get this bad boy in the air. Or not. We will see. I'm using the rudder to keep it on the runway. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ah! Come on! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Alright, so, I think I actually got farther than I did before. That's a good sign, but uh, honestly, I mean, I'm sad to say, I don't think this thing will be getting in the air anytime soon off of an aircraft carrier. Yeah, you can try it. Um, comment your results, <laughs> see if you can actually manage to get this thing in the air off of an aircraft carrier, and if so, I give you props. You, sir, are an awesome pilot. So yeah, um, that was fun. I will see you later in the next video that I make. Bye.